I am completely optimistic about fusion and laser fusion, said Robert Hofstadter, in Moscow, 1978. I met Hofstadter, says Stefan, in Moscow, Russia. In the late 1978, during the conference on the laser-driven controlled thermonuclear fusion, Academician Basov, director of the Lebedev Institute of Physics of the Soviet Russian Academy of Sciences introduced me to Hofstadter. We had a long conversation in the cafeteria of the Lebedev Institute. I told him that I was planning to move to the States. At that time, I was in Moscow, doing research in theoretical plasma physics, in the Department of Plasma Theory of the Lebedev Institute, led by Viktor Pavlovich Selin. Robert Hofstadter and Keith Brockner, says Stefan, had worked for KMS Fusion, a private company for the research in laser fusion located in Ann Arbor, Michigan. At that time, I could have not known that in the mid-1983, I would be working with Keith Brockner on the initial confinement fusion at the University of California in La Jolla, UCSD. I never got to meet with Hofstadter in the States, says Stefan, but I had a few telephone conversations with him at the time, when I was working on the establishment of the Institute for Advanced Physics Studies, Stefan University, in La Jolla, California. He was at Stanford University at that time. I remember in one telephone conversation he said, Keith knows all physics. I was happy to hear it, because I worked with Keith and I was acquainted with his mighty research skills. Hofstadter, says Stefan, was a scientific advisor for the Institute for Advanced Physics Studies, Stefan University. After I had received from Hofstadter his biography, I found out that we had been celebrating the same birthday, February 5. Hofstadter was born on February 5. 1915, I was born on February 5, 1948. Marshall Rosenbluth was also celebrating the same birthday, February 5, Marshall was born on February 5, 1927.